Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Galatians chapter 2, beginning at verse 11. And ending at verse 21. This is the Amplified Version. Peter, Cephas, opposed by Paul. Now when Cephas, Peter, came to Antioch, I opposed him face to face about his conduct there because he stood condemned by his own actions. Before certain men came from James, he used to eat his meals with the Gentiles. But when the men from Jerusalem arrived, he began to withdraw and separate himself from the Gentile believers because he was afraid of those from the circumcision. The rest of the Jews joined him in this hypocrisy, ignoring their knowledge that Jewish and Gentile Christians were united under the new covenant into one faith, with the result that even Barnabas was carried away by their hypocrisy. But when I saw that they were not being straightforward about the truth of the gospel, I told Cephas Peter in front of everyone, if you being a Jew, live as you have been living like a Gentile and not like a Jew, how is it that you are now virtually forcing the Gentiles to live like Jews if they want to eat with you. I went on to say, we are Jews by birth and not sinners from among the Gentiles. Yet we know that a man is not justified and placed in right standing with God by works of the law, but only through faith in God's beloved son, Christ Jesus. And even we as Jews have believed in Christ Jesus so that we may be justified by faith in Christ and not by works of the law. By observing the law, no one will ever be justified, declared free of the guilt of sin and its penalty. But if while we seek to be justified in Christ by faith, we ourselves are found to be sinners, does that make Christ an advocate or promoter of our sin? Certainly not. For if I or anyone else should rebuild through word or by practice what I once tore down, the belief that um, observing the law is essential for salvation, I prove myself to be a transgressor. For through the law, I die to the law and its demands on me, because salvation is provided through the death and resurrection of Christ, so that I might from now on live to God. I have been crucified with Christ, that is, in him I have shared his crucifixion. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith, by hear adhering to, relying on, and completely trusting in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. I do not ignore or nullify the gracious gift of the grace of God, his amazing unmerited favor. For if righteousness comes through observing the law, then Christ died needlessly. His suffering and death would have had no purpose whatsoever. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.